If you're a young lady who is not married yet and you intend to get married very soon, then this video is for you. The message is very simple. Don't go into marriage empty-handed. I have seen this happen time and time again. It's not funny. Do this for yourself. Do this for your family. Get something of your own. Learn a skill. Learn a trade. Do something. No matter how little, if it's that tailoring you're learning, take it seriously. Every day, be at that duty post. Be the first to resume. If it's a teaching job you decide to pick on, take it and do it graciously. If it's an idea that is in your heart, don't let it die. Don't let that idea just end at the ideation stage alone. No. Pursue it. Don't care about what people will say. One thing I have learned in my life is that people will always talk. Whether you're doing the good thing, they will talk. Whether you're doing the bad thing, they will talk. Yes, we all know how everybody wants to be Munio Odogo. I mean, yes, that's a very good thing. But how long do you intend to wait for Odogo? What if Odogo does not come on time? I'm sure you want to have your own children and be able to take care of them when you have the strength. Do you want to wait until you're 40, 50, 55? All in name of waiting for Odogu to come. Do you know if that Odogu is, is even waiting for you? Maybe you're the one that will step into that person's life and make him the Odogu he's going to become. Women carry power. A lot of us don't even know what we carry. You have a grace within you to actually push somebody to reach the fullness of his potential. Let's draw an insight from the Bible. Ruth chapter 2 from verse 2. I read, and Ruth, Moabite, said to Naomi, Let me go to the fields and pick up the leftover grain behind anyone in whose eyes I find favor. Naomi said to her, Go ahead, my daughter. So she went out, entered the field, and began to glean behind the harvesters. Now we all know how this story ended. This is a story about Ruth, the lady who married. She lost her husband, and then when her mother-in-law was going back to her hometown, she followed her mother-in-law. And she said to her mother-in-law, Where you end is where I end. Where you die is where I die. Your people will become my people. She was so passionate. Anytime I come to that passage of the Bible, it makes me so emotional. But the message we have to pick from this passage of the Bible right now is the fact that Ruth was up and doing. She wasn't just sitting around waiting for the, the inevitable to happen. She was up and doing. She was the one that suggested, like we read from the Bible, to her mother-in-law that I want to go to this place, this farm where they are farming, they are harvesting. Let me just help them to be picking some grains and see maybe if anybody likes me, they can give me small. That is what it means. This is like practically saying, let me just go and offer myself and help them. Today, we all know how this story ended. She landed the real Odogu. She understand? If you don't know this story, go to the book of Ruth. It's just four chapters, four chapters in that book. Read it from chapter one to the very end. You will get a clear picture of what really, really happened in that place. Eventually, while she was working at that field, she was noticed by the owner of the field himself. The point is, she wasn't in her house. She was actually outside her house, up and doing. And then what happened? Her destiny found her. So the point here, my sister, in this video is, get up, do something. Don't neglect that thing you're doing. Don't look at it as if this one, why they do this one at work. Don't say that. Keep doing that thing with all diligence, with all integrity. And I promise you, God does not despise things like that. That is where your future will find you. That is where your destiny will find you. I don't know who this is meant for. This has just been in my heart. This is not even the video I set out to record, but I had to just get it out. If you're the one it's meant for, my hope is that you accept this message with understanding. If you're not the one it's meant for, and you know someone who needs this message, kindly send to that person. You might be helping somebody's life. Thank you so much for watching. Stay blessed.